A ratio can be written three different ways. We can have the two numbers that are being compared separated by the word two. We can also use a colon to separate the two words. And we can also look at it as a fraction. What we will examine now is how to write ratios as fractions in simplest form. The first thing to do would be to take the first number in the comparison and make that your numerator. So that's going to go on top of the fraction. And the second number in your comparison in your ratio is going to be the denominator. Next, you would divide this fraction by some version of 1 that has a common factor between 20 and 30, hopefully the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between 20 and 30 would be 10. So the version of 1 that we're going to be dividing by is 10 tenths. So 20 divided by 10 is 2. 30 divided by 10 is 3, so a ratio of 20 to 30 can be written as the fraction 2 thirds. Likewise, we could also have rewritten this ratio as 2 to 3, either one of these two ways. We'll do the same thing with 16 to 10. We could have written it 16 colon 10, and we're also going to write it as a fraction. So the first number in the ratio comparison comes first, the second number comes on the bottom is your denominator. We would then divide it by some fraction that's equal to 1 that is made up of common factors between 16 and 10, hopefully the greatest common factor, in which case that would be 2. So we're going to look at the version of 1 that is 2 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 16 to 10 also has a ratio of 8 to 5, which can be written any of these ways also have written it as 8 to 5 or 8 colon 5. Now here, when one of our numbers has a decimal point in it, we're going to have to make a little adjustment in this case. So if we have 6.6 .6 to 10, we can write the first number in the ratio as the numerator of the fraction, and the denominator would be the second number. Now we don't like to have decimals included in our fraction, so what we'll do is we'll see how many decimal places are to the right of the decimal point, and multiply by that power of 10. So if we have one digit to the right of the decimal point, we will multiply by one power of 10, or 10 to the first. This would give me 6.6 .6 times 10, or 66. 10 times 10 is 100. Note that this fraction, 66 one-hundredths, can be simplified by the same process up here. So once I have 66 over 100, I'm going to divide that fraction by some version of 1, that includes the greatest common factor between 66 and 100, and that would be 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. 66 divided by 2 is 33. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So 6.6 .6 to 10 is a ratio that is equal to 33 to 50, which we could have written using the word 2, and we could have also used it, written it using the colon. 